In lecture example number three, we are asked, what is the mass of 0 0.500 moles of magnesium? So that means when we're done, we want to have grams of magnesium. And we're beginning with moles. So it's 0 0.500 moles of magnesium, and we want to convert that to grams. So we're going to multiply that by, now grams needs to go on the top, and mole, which we want to cancel, needs to go on the bottom. And we know that one mole has a mass, so you look at the periodic table, and for magnesium, uh, it's 24.3 grams per mole of magnesium. So moles of magnesium will divide away, and you'll have 0 0.500 times 24.3. And when you punch that in your calculator, it's actually going to come out to be 12.15 grams of magnesium. Now, for significant figures, since 0 0.500 has three significant figures, and we use 24.3 grams, which is also three significant figures, in our answer, we would only keep three significant figures. And so to round 12.15 to three significant figures, uh, you'd keep one and two, and then the one after the fact, five would round the one up. So we are going to report this answer as 12.2 grams of magnesium. And that would be our accepted answer. Going on to lecture example number four, it asks for the mass of 1.60 moles of carbon dioxide. So we'll follow the same pattern. We'll end when we have grams. Uh, so we're going to multiply it. So we want moles to cancel. So it's one mole on the bottom of CO2 is a particular gram measurement. And so CO2, well, it's not just something we can look at the periodic table, we gotta add that up. So if you look on the periodic table, uh, oxygen is always 16.00 grams. You got two of those guys. Carbon uh, is 12.01. And so you add all that up and that's gonna come out to be 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide is equal to one mole of carbon dioxide. So now moles will divide away, and you've got 1.60 times 44.01, and then uh, you got four significant figures there in 44.01. 1.60 is three significant figures, and so uh, our answer will just report it to three significant figures, and we we'll punch that into a calculator. And it, the calculator reports 70.416, rounded to three sig figs, 70.4 grams of CO2.